and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my autumn essentials. They are just things that I use and I feel like make my autumn life a bit nicer because I'm not that much of an autumn winter person as you already know. The first thing I really need in autumn is tea. Last time I got sent some tea to try and also to review on my blog what I already did. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna um, link it down below in the description box. So today I've used one of those teas and it's called Beramix I think and it's so tasty. I just literally can't wait to drink it. Number two of my autumn essentials are wax tarts and candles that smell amazing. So I'm quickly going to show you what candles I like. And here I keep all of my wax tarts that I'm going to show you now. And here are all my tarts. So very autumny, apple spice something. It smells really good and it's just a perfect smell for autumn winter season. Last time I also got this in a drugstore which is just called Winter Stories and I'm pretty excited to try this because it smells so good. I also haven't used this one but it smells so good and I feel like this scent is kind of good for any season really. Another more autumn winter smell is strawberry bottle cream. As you can tell I haven't used it yet but I've had it for ages and I just didn't use it because it was summer and I preferred some fresh and fruity smells and this is kind of heavier and just cozier. Very luscious is probably the tart I've used the most over this time. I also got it back in Edinburgh. I loved it during summer but I feel like it's also perfect for autumn winter. Another good thing for long and rainy autumn evenings is just reading. I always love reading books, especially if they are about World War II or religious topics. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite picks. Definitely The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which is a very sad book, but it's very important to read such kind of books, I think. Also this one. Ben Elton Two Brothers is probably my all-time favorite book. It's beautiful. If you can get it, please read it. It's just such an amazing story. I also have some French literature that I had to read back in college, but I feel like I'm gonna start reading those two again this time because I'm just gonna need this for uni as well. Another amazing book is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, and it's also a pretty thick book. So those three are like my biggest books I think but this again is such an amazing story I really 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 recommend this and probably the most important things for now that I need to read are those French books about conjugation and just grammar and stuff not too exciting but I guess I really need to do this but of course that's not the only books I like because I also left one in Scotland at my friend's house because she wanted to read it um, so now it's back in Edinburgh and I'm not there anymore. Um, it's called Alicia. It's also about war, so as you can tell, I have a lot of war books. Number four is comfy slippers or socks. Those ones I bought here, they are just such cute socks, but they're with those rubber um, dots. So not really socks, but more of slippers. Those ones I got back in Edinburgh and they're so cute I think. Got them from Primark and I also had some as the slippers before I got them but they got really destroyed because I really loved them. And then I also got another pair from Primark but I also left them there. And I had another pair from Primark but I also left it there because Maya liked to sleep in them. And a cool and funky pair of socks which is also pretty warm and just went through autumny. Number five is a cozy bed that is also warm, full of blankets and pillows. And some other things I also really like are music and just sweets, basically like shortbread and stuff like that. And also generally just warm clothing. 
So I think those were all the auto essentials I could think of at this moment. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for more. And also don't forget to check out the links below because they might be useful for you. And I hope your autumn goes well with those tips. And let me know if you have any other good tips because I need to have a lot of distraction from the weather in autumn. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!